Today we explore and investigate one of the most interesting abandoned houses to date. We discovered the home completely by chance as we were driving through the English countryside. After long and difficult research we found the home once belonged to a lord who borrowed the home to his friend to live in. His friend just so happened to be a Nobel Prize winning poet who lived in the property until the year 2002 when he passed away in his sleep at the age of 96. His wife also passed away here a few years earlier after being bed bound for the remaining three years of her life. Before he passed away he gave one last interview and in his own words this is how he wanted to be remembered. If I'm going to be remembered at all I suppose it'll be on the strength of a few poems that I've written. Apart from the poems, as a man, I hope that other, other people will sort of benefit from my example of one who, who loved to be in the open air, loved the things of this earth, and was given the ability to both hear and see them. Today we investigate the poet's long lost abandoned house and see what remains. Okay guys, we begin our adventure in this grand hallway. Look at this, big double doors painted in a very retro way. There is slight bits of vandalism, you'll see broken glass there. There is letters thrown all over the place. But look at this, big nice entrance, archway at the top. Absolutely beautiful place. Check the tiled flooring. Amazing, nice condition as well with the tiled flooring. Nice grand staircase, but check out this entranceway, just the landing. Amazing. We literally have stumbled across this place, trying somewhere else. We didn't get into the other place, so we thought we'll come back and check this place. And look at it guys, absolutely banging. Heading into the first room here, it's quite dark. Some of the rooms have been boarded up. That's what led us to believe it was abandoned. But we still have pictures up on the wall here. Furniture left. It is all in a very peculiar layout. But we've got books on the, on the sofa here. Moorcock, science fiction. So whoever did live here or is squatting here there's like a mystery book. But check this out, got TVs on the floor. The old fluffy rug. Look at this. Very dark in this one, like I said. Fireplace there. January sales, <laughs> just in time there is. But look at the bookshelves. There's kids toys on there too, look at that. Just all left here, all these books. Absolutely amazing. It's a very old house. We've got a newspaper. 2002 guys, so what's that, 20 years? Wow. Doesn't So the, literally the latest date we've seen is 22 years. And it does have that vibe. Like when we walked through the house, there is a lot of decay in here, natural decay. Heading into a second room here now. And here we go, look at this. The damp coming down the walls. Fireplace, definitely seen better days. Furniture left. This is what we're saying, there is like um, quilts on the sofa. Maybe there's someone is squatting here. So we have to be careful in case they come back. Armchairs, look at the old TV, Phillips. 12 channels on this one. Mad to see these old TVs just sitting here. Probably not been turned on for a very long time. But check these, these armchairs. Somebody has been here. There's an actual vape. There's a vape here, so somebody has been here. So guys, it does look like somebody's been here very recently. Because vapes are not 2002 guys. Vapes are this year, I believe. 
heading into this back room now, back to the darkness. See it's all boarded up. Fridges. Old microwaves there. A knife, which is not good if somebody's gonna come back. Definitely not good. Huge hacksaw. Let's check this fridge. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Empty though, look at this. All tinned food in there. Rice pudding. I'm a little on edge, guys. I am a little on edge in case somebody does come back into this kitchen area. That back door's locked, so that's good. Tinned foods, china plates still up. All the glasses, cups, saucers all left. I don't think there is any electric, but we will try the electrics in a sec. All utilities are left here. This is crazy. Oh God. Huge basement. Guys, we are gonna go down into the basement after, but we do wanna have a look around the house. I am hoping nobody comes back, because it'd be a bit dodgy if they do. Hands will be thrown. But this is insane, what a place. Look at this staircase. Immense, all wooden, proper old style. Back entrance here. The old style flooring, love the tiled flooring in this room. Into a dining room area. Sofas. This is where we believe something dodgy is going down in here. Because I don't know what the hell all that is. No idea. Got the TV on the side there. But what is that for guys? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Looks like somebody is staying here. Check the old Hoover out, hot point. You can hear drips coming down onto this chair. Another old school sofa. Thai Nitron. Never even heard of that before. All bits and bobs in there though. Guys, I am super on edge right now. It's a weird vibe. Somebody's yeah, definitely yeah. staying here. Lad, somebody's definitely staying here. I thought there's a quill on the sofa there. Yeah. Be careful of the floors though. Why? Have you been in that room? I've done it, mate. You've seen the floor, yeah? Oh yeah, I'm eager. Right, there's no electric on in this hallway anyway. Mate, this is crazy. I proper creeped out. Same. I feel like somebody's gonna come back. Yeah. It's been abandoned for about 20 years, hasn't it? Yeah. By the data here. Just look up, bro. I know. Look at the decay, the whole ceiling's yeah. come down. See right into the attic. We are gonna have to check that basement out, mate. What the hell is this? It's like a chaise lounge, mate, whatever you call it. It's a chaise lounge. It's whatever you want it to be. Yeah, but it has got the back, is it? No. It's just like an old single bed, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mate, it's such a shame about the ceiling. I know. Straight down. Destroyed. In the London. You can see from the outside that all the slates are coming off as well. Right, I'm gonna start down this end, bro. Into bedroom number one. It does have an old musky smell in here, something has not been in here for a while. Someone I should say, but this looks like the original furniture not very modern all hand carved there Beautiful check that out Quilts bedding in there We do have some books though Look at this The devil rides out the liquidator Strange it's books thrown all over the floor a locked cupboard, hmm. But the furniture is empty. Okay, check this. Dandy book. 
1973 look at this actually very good condition as well wow that is actually mint condition even the spine seems to be all right 1973 oh yeah it's a bit ripped it's a bit ripped guys so worthless nice old fireplace there check the details in that it's cool it is a very nice one, double bed. Lilac walls, all peeling away there, paint peel. Shame, it is a shame. See these houses left like this. Water closet with a ladder, is that obviously up to the attic? It is, but we do not need to go in there because we can see into the attic. <laughs> and it doesn't look like there's much up there, to be honest. So we'll leave that. Check this room. Bedroom number two, look at this guys. Big double bed, still made. Does look like someone's been kipping in there. But this is what the stuff that gets you. The baby cot, just left here. Crazy. And then a single bed. You can see all the lath and plaster coming down. It's very windy outside, quite dangerous. Um, with the slates flying everywhere but what a strange place that we've come across here it's actually given me the willies because I do feel like somebody's gonna turn up crazy honestly guys this place is weird thinking that I'm gonna like look down a corridor and see someone not Matt for once uh, I'd actually prefer to see you it's a bit of baby clothes man. is that it makes it real it's probably sad to say right? yeah because if there's a baby, like what happened to him? Mate, I don't even think, I think we're still here. Are you being in spirit? No, I mean it in person. Let's have a look in here though. Whoa, pink bathroom, very pink. Too pink if you ask me. But look, we've got toothbrushes, cider, wood, cedar wood aftershave. The old Gillette, that is old. Um, a half used tampon, that's a bit weird. All dressing gowns and towels still in there. Look at this guys. Dressing gown on the back of the door, all cobwebs hanging from there too. Pussy on the wall. Look at these though, disgusting. We've got a bidet. But look at this shell, just proper cheesy style retro bathroom. It's proper dated as well to 90s so yeah it would make sense if it's been abandoned in the early 2000s mirror still on the wall but you can see all the paint can you see that it's all bubbling away all gonna be chipping away soon and what's in here i dread to think a tampon okay <laughs> but you can see the nice tiles in this room as well which is pretty cool Look at the state of this though, that's not going to last very long. Probably going to come down during the winter. Another bedroom guys, this place is absolutely massive. What's this, like fourth bedroom? Got the wardrobes there, beds in the middle of the room. Bit strange. You can see ceilings come through, the slates are actually resting on there. So surprised they haven't come through and killed whoever's squatting here. Imagine them landing on your head while you're trying to have a sleep. Furniture. Nice fireplaces still. Check this out guys, unreal. Mental. Just checking to see if it had any uh, nice carvings on there. Right, check this room. Yellow room. Oh, it's only tiny. Nice little dresser there, double bed. You can see the black mold creeping in in the corner of the room there. Look at this, anything in these drawers? No, they are all empty, but this is nuts, nuts to see. This little pan of this, it is a nice house to be fair, it's gonna cost a, a fortune to do this up because I'll be very surprised if it's not listed with the age of it as well but that just heads back down obviously 
Got some artwork here. This is my favourite room. This is where we began the video. Look at this, guys. Nice double bed. A single bed in this corner. Obviously had a child that slept here as well. Got the old wash basins. I absolutely love these. And these are in mint condition as well. Look at them. Huge as well. Probably one of the biggest I've seen actually. But these are just left. It's so strange that like pretty much everything else has been stripped away. But these are still left. And then we have this beautiful baby's cot. It's massive as well. Look at this, guys. This is crazy. Matt said there was baby clothes in here. There's all your bedding, sheets and stuff like that just left here. Where's he seen baby clothes? Look at the debris falling on this bed. Somebody's actually pulled the cover back where they've been sleeping, so maybe whoever has been squatting here hasn't been here for a while, because look at that debris under the quilt. That wouldn't be there if it would obviously been here a while. But let's just check this. Oh yeah, look, baby's bedding. Yeah, there is all baby's clothes along the bottom here. Oh, what a shame. Curtains, yeah, look. Baby's onesies, all stuff like that's been left. So maybe, just like, just gas in here. Maybe someone was squatting here and they have been home so they've, a they've actually left this place. Maybe they've finally found somewhere to live and they've not needed to come back. Hopefully that's the case. But it does seem like somebody has been here recently. Just uh, thinking out loud here guys. What a house this is. Absolutely massive. We do actually need to go check the basement before I forget. But I'll be damned if I'm going down there alone. Matt will have to come with me because that is creepy as. Alright guys, Instagram pictures, reels, TikToks, all filmed. Let's head down to the basement. It does proper feel weird in here, doesn't it? Do you reckon we do a little invest if we can? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we so we've had to leave our paranormal stuff in the car. It is a bit of a sneak job to get in here, so fingers crossed we'll have to get back to the car and then back into the house to do the paranormal. <laughs> Absolute nightmare, but like I said, we were just checking this place. We didn't actually know it was a bando, but we've made it inside. Absolutely amazing place. Heading down to the basement. Oh, unreal. Here we go. Are you ready for this, Matthew? Nope. Watch it, it'll just be like nothing down here now. All hype. Oh, look at this. Where do you even stand, bro? I know, I thought I didn't to it. Oh, look at this. This is so dodgy, but you never know what's down here, dear. Make sure it's cool. Oh, this ladder's knackering it up. There's a few rooms down here, mate. Is that? Yeah. There's a few rooms. Okay. So we're downstairs. We're in the basement. Straight away, check out these old TVs. Two old shootback TVs down here. An old Hoover. Oh, it's a bit sweaty down here. Not sure what all they are. That's a bit weird, don't know what they are, guys. But, uh, chainsaw, never a good sign in an abandoned house. Someone's gonna come and cut us up. But there is a fair few rooms down here. Just all storage in this one, pots and pans, paint brushes, you know, the usual basement attire. Oh, oh wow. Check this out. Old stereo down here, just hidden away. Look at that though, the window actually goes outside. But we are down in a basement, all spares and repairs down here. Some big old folders. Let's have a look. What was going on here? What do we have? All handwritten. Spiders crawling off it. It's upside down as well, that's good. Check this old tape player. Oh, something damn's just uh, been on my fingers. Herbs and spices down in the cellar. Exactly where they need to be, but check out the old oil lamp. We love them. We do love finding them. Matt's obviously been too scared to come down. These young guns, eh? No balls. Right, what else do we have? I think, no, that is it. Like I said, guys, we are gonna try and get back to the car, 
get the paranormal equipment because this place has got some serious vibes. Fingers crossed we get to the car and get back in. Okay, explorers. We made it, we have the equipment, we are back in the house. We're gonna do a walk through with the K2 meters. Matt's got his, he's on the other side of the house. We're gonna walk through and see if we get anything. So we're just gonna begin, we're just gonna do a nice little walk through. Couple of shout outs. Begin in this living room. Doesn't seem to be anything at all so far. But if there's anyone in this house that would like to contact us, would you like to move closer to me? Touch me on the arm, grab this device. The colors will change from green to orange or red, and it'll let us know that you're here and that you want to contact us. I just noticed as well, the clock is not at three o'clock for once. It's at nine. So if the owner of this house is still present, still here, do you want to let me know by touching my arm we don't mean any harm whatsoever. We are just here to look around and maybe contact yourselves. Muchly appreciated if you could cooperate and let us know that you're here. Anyone in this room with us? The very old house. We are hoping that there are some spirits from over the years still present. Maybe the owner, the owner of these TVs or furniture, are you still here with us? <sighs> Maybe the owner of that vape? It is, you, I am proper on the edge of my uh, underpants. I was gonna say edge of my seat, but I'm not sat down, am I? So that makes no sense. You had anything so far, Big Matthew? I've had a little flicker, but nothing. No, I've had absolutely it nothing. It was flickering straight off, man. Was it? Yeah, I knew it was. Yeah. Right, let me just have a little look in there. It wasn't like going all the way to red, it was just flickering, wasn't it? Right? Just, yeah. just tiny bits? Yeah. Yeah, I've had, I've had absolutely nothing. Nothing at all? No, nothing. If there's anyone in this room that would like to contact us, do you want to reach out and touch the black device on the table? Let us know that you're here. Let us know that you want to contact us. Maybe you've got a message to pass on. Are you aware that you've passed away in the first place? Anything? Nothing, I'm not getting anything out, bro, was. Weird that, it? Mm. <laughs> do you know what's weird? I'm holding this with the wrong hand, it feels so strange. Yeah, I did it all <laughs> Didn't like that Probably at all. Throws you off, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing at all, though. No? But feel, it feels oh, like yeah. something's here, doesn't it? Yeah, proper on edge. Yeah, it's a strange one, bro, honestly. I'm going to try the kitchen because you, sometimes you get uh, activity in busier rooms of the house. Yeah. I do believe that these were servant stairs at one point as well, guys. They did have a separate staircase. And this is the kitchen, which is the back end where the servants and help would have been. If one of the servants is still in this house, are you trapped here? If one of the owners is still trapped in this house, do you want to reach out, touch my device, touch my hand? maybe knock something or bang something it would be fantastic if you could contact us getting a proper cold spot in this one now even though i've got my hat on big woolly coat just proper went cold k2s are having me right off here if one of the servants one of the masters of the house is still present do you want to let us know by touching the device? It'll change colours. It'll change from green to orange or red. And it'll let me know that you are here with us. Nothing. We are going to try other bits of equipment as well. But these K2s, there's no electricity in the house to uh, interfere with them. Let me just check that. No, lights are dead. I was proper freaking out then. Why? I asked her, did you pass away in this house, mate? It went straight to red. No, it never. I swear, mate. You're such a fibber. <laughs> I'm not, mate. Say it again. Where did, where did it... In that it... room, there. I got it all the recorded off. I was shaking, mate. In here? I was stood here. Yeah? And I went, did you pass away in this house? And it went straight to red, mate. I'm not lying. Ask again. Did you pass away in this house? Can you touch the device with my hand if you passed away in this house? 
It's not doing it, mate. Made, oh, you, I swear, made you look a right liar. Well, you have to watch my video, that one, you guys. <laughs> made you look like a right mug. Did anyone pass away in this house? Are you present with us now? You want to touch the device if you are the person that passed away here? I was proper shaking, mate. Once it happened, my hand started shaking. Yeah, it does give you the, yeah, uh, gives you chills, doesn't it? We are going to try the other bits. I'm going to head upstairs though, where there's a lot of personal possessions. Yeah, I was thinking the beds and all. Yeah. Guys, we do sometimes get energy around personal possessions and what's more personal than a bed. Are you going to it? No, I don't think so. I was Wait, chatting. Mine's flat out. Flat out? Just stopped. They're playing with us. Are you playing with us? Are you trying to make Matt look like a filthy liar? <laughs> <laughs> Touch the device if you were. Uh... Oh, yes, I can see yours. I can see yours going all the way off. <laughs> ha. I always get good response on this K2, man. I don't know why. Yeah, playing with us, bro. Right, let's try in this bedroom. This is my favourite room of the house. Okay. So, is there anyone in this bedroom that's trapped here? Is there anyone that passed away in this house? Are you still in this room with me right now? Would you like to touch me or the device come close to me? Matter's going off. Would you like to play a game? Would you like to, like to play hide and seek? Do you want to touch the device if that's something you'd be interested in? Nothing. I'm going to put it down on the pillow and see what we get. Here we go. If there's anyone in this house, the owner, if you passed away in this house, can you touch the bed? Put your head on the pillow. Let me know that you're still here. If you've got a message to pass on. If you just, if you just want to let us know that you're present. Are you getting anything? No, I've nothing, mate. Me neither. And it does show that, like, we do go into some places and these go off the charts, don't Yeah. They? These do yeah, go off not, the charts. It's not so mad in it, No. Right, you try that bedroom. I'm going to head up to this one. Guys, they're not playing with us today. What's going on here? It's proper vibes. Maybe they're just not playing with the equipment, but you can tell something's here. Did that just go off or are my eyes tricking me? Okay. Is there anyone in this room with me right now? The owner of the house, maybe you were a servant that worked here. You were obviously a mother. Is the mother of the family still in this house with us? Still present? Would you like to touch the baby's cot to let me know that you're here? Did you pass away in this house? Okay, these guys are not playing with me today. Can you let me know if you're male? Can you touch the device if you're a male? Can you touch the device if you're a female? Can you touch the device at all, please? Can you do something to let me know that you're here? I can feel your presence. We don't mean any harm whatsoever. Literally just here to look around. Maybe contact you. Are these your tampons all over the place? Guys, I'm getting deadly squat on this machine today. I usually do all right with the K2s. We usually uh, get something. I'm gonna put it on the dandy book. Is the owner of this book still in this house? I've seen you got stuff on the stairs, yeah. mate, so I don't feel like giving up yet. So it seems like the only activity we really downstairs, had is downstairs, yeah. isn't it? Nothing up here at all, mate. Hmm. Well, so far, anyway. And it was when you asked if you were killed in the house. Yeah, you passed away. It went straight to red, mate. Honestly, I was shaking, mate. They're not playing with me today. They have uh, spoke to Matt by touching the device when he asked if they'd passed away in the house. They're not, they don't want to talk to me today. But we are going to use the other devices. Uh, EVPs, REM pods, cat balls. Yeah. Cat balls and the music box. So we're gonna, box. 
So we're gonna box. So we're gonna. Matt, stay still. Just heard like a loud bang coming from downstairs. Bro. I just heard like a loud bang coming from downstairs. Get ready to throw hands if someone jumps out on us. Is that you that's just made the loud bang? No, it was in the house. We've been in here for like 40 minutes, mate. Not heard nothing. Not heard anything for like 45 minutes. It was in the house, mate. It was like something knocked over. Maybe the wind, if I'm going to be cynical. Was that you that just made that loud bang to scare us? Because you scared me. Right, she don't want to talk to me today. She's not playing with me, Matt. I'm going to get the other bits of equipment out, maybe start in this. In this yeah, living room. Nervous, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you make that part of again for us? Yeah. Yeah. It's a big house, it's a big old house, Matt, so. It stinks in this room, doesn't it? Yeah. Why does it smell so bad the night of the rest of them? Well, it's not me. <laughs> right. It smells like that there, probably. Right, guys, we're going to get the other equipment out. We're going to start in this living room because it does seem to be the only place we've had any activity whatsoever. See what we get, yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, explorers, so we are just going to do a few shout outs, see if we pick anything up. We've got the cat balls Cowboys on the floor. Cool. One seems to be going off. We've got the REM pod in the doorway. Music box is facing the door. So anything crosses the threshold of the door or in the hallway, it should set the box off. And we have the K2 on the side here. That cat ball is still going off. Still going, right? So if there is anyone in this house, you want to come into this room. Do you want to use one of the devices to let us know that you're here? The cat ball still going off. Mate, it's starting and starting up. The K2 is flickering. That's, that's my K2 that hasn't gone off once, mate. Okay, she's going off. Just like up there. Yep. Cat ball's going off and K2 just flickered, which hasn't gone off once in the whole time we've been here. So if there is anyone in this house, do you want to use one of the devices to contact us? Do you want to walk through the doorway? What? I'm just hearing so many noises, man. It is an old house, so yeah, we are going to have to put it down to that as well. So do you want to touch one of these devices? Maybe one on the table, the one in the doorway, or on the TV. Just let us know that you're here with us. Do you want to make another knock or bang? A couple of stuff, man. Yeah. Anything just to let us know that you're with us. Would you like us to leave this house? Let us know by touching one of the devices. It is proper vibes in this place, yeah. mate, isn't it? It's so old. There's no radio, isn't it? No. Which I know it's there, but it's all like gas eating and fans and stuff. Yeah. Mate, cat cat ball. ball, I got that. You got it on, yeah? Got it on camera, yeah. Mate, it's so weird because the um, equipment isn't doing anything, but it's such strong vibes in this place. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it is eerie, it does feel like somebody is in the house. Cat ball is once again going off, but it's the same one. Can you touch the other balls as well? Yeah, I'd be happier if it did yeah, touch yeah. one of the other ones. Okay, that K2 did go off slightly. Mate, yeah, it's the same one it's again. Be so that, it, surely. If it's you that's moving the cat balls, do you want to walk in the doorway for us? Walk through the doorway? Maybe make, make another knock or bang? Shut one of the doors? Just let us know that you're here be absolutely amazing. Right, should we just do an EVP whilst we're in it? It is quite windy outside, but we'll have a go. So if the owner of the house is here with us right now, do you want to speak to me through this device? If anyone that passed away in this house is here with us, do you want to let us know by speaking to us or touching one of the devices? 
Can you let us know if you worked here or if you own the house? Were you one of the servants? So if the owner of the house is here with us right now, do you want to speak to me through this device? Anyone that passed away in this house is here with us. Do you want to let us know by speaking to us or touching one of the devices? It's like tapping, man. Can you let us know if you worked here or if you own the house? Were you one of the servants? What do you mean? Yeah. I keep hearing noises, Matt. You're not the only one. That was scrap chat, wasn't it? But it's windy as well, isn't it? So I don't know. Right, but one, one thing, mate, the cat ball hasn't gone off in the last yeah. minute or so. If anyone's in this house with us, can you let us know that you're male or female? Can you let us know if you were the owner of the property or if you worked here? It's too sloppy, isn't it? Going all over to orange. Mine's going off as well. Mate, that's going to red. Yeah. If if that's you that's touching the devices, can you say yes or no into this device for me right now, please? Man, that's so weird how they all went off. I know. Yeah. If anyone's in this house with us, can you let us know that you're male or female? know if you were the owner of the property or if you worked here. We messed this one up. Right? Mine's going off as well. Right, if, if that's you that's touching the devices, can you say yes or no into this device for me right now, please? Oh, <laughs> there's my bloody eardrum. Right, getting nothing on that. Should we go upstairs and do a necrophonic real quick? Because uh, we're getting little bits in here, but nothing major. It's the K2s yeah, and the cat ball. That cat ball, like, it starts going oh, on demand, mate. I'll just say it. But it's only that one yeah, which yeah, I'm yeah. finding a bit strange, to be honest. Point what, of view. What do you want to take upstairs? Um, we can put it all up there. See if we get anything. Right, let's just chuck these in here real quick and we'll carry them all up together. With not much happening downstairs, we decided to head upstairs, where things immediately got a little bit more interesting. Okay guys, so we've just set the uh, ramp pod up. K2 is going absolutely mental on the bed. But as I went over to set the music box off, the REM pod's actually just gone off. Uh, Matt, do you want to grab those cat balls and maybe put them... On the bed? Maybe put them on the bed, yeah. Because look at this K2, mate. This K2 hasn't been going off at all, and now it's going all the way to red, bro. How about two on the bed, one in the cot, mate? Yes, good shout, good shout. The baby might want to play with them. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Should have bought the teddy, but c'est la vie. Um, right, so when you move out the way, I'm going to turn this cat, this cat ball? No. I'm going to turn the music box on and do a necrophonic. Yeah? Let's right, get that ready. Okay, so cat ball's on the bed, one in the cot, K2. You got a K2 somewhere? Maybe we'll hold it. Yeah. REM pod in the doorway. A music box facing above the bed. No. Mate. <laughs> Mate. Wait, I guess so excited that it goes off. But Mate, the K2's off. going off on the bed too. Can you set the balls off on the bed? There's someone in that bed. Mate. The music box and the K2 both going off on the bed. What is going on? Why is it not stopping? So it's something now. Mate, hear that bang. Did you hear that bang, mate? I've honestly, my hires are standing up. Mate, what's going on? Right, that's you with the REM pod. This K2's not stopping. Not K2. Ah! 
I don't know what I'm saying. Music box not stopping, bro. Did not hear a bang downstairs. Yeah. The right I thought it might have been like the wind or something. Could have been, I don't know. Everything's going crazy. Huh? Mate, these two are going crazy. Mate, my K2 is going off. Mate. Right, this is the time, mate. Let's do it. Right. The music box has stopped. Mate. And carried on. If that's you that's setting the music box off, do you want to speak to us to this device? Mate, that music box is freaking me out. Is that you that's moving near the bed, that's setting the device off? Are you the owner of this house? Mate, it's talking through that. Hang on. Right, hang on. If that, if it's, I can't even talk, I don't know what I'm saying, hang on. What the noise is, mate? Right, if that's you that's setting the device off on the bed, can you stop it? Can you make the device stop by not moving? Can you move away from it so it stops, please? Mate, that's so weird. Stop it. Can you set it off again? <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Sorry, I got my legs tight Can you move away from the device? Mate, that's so weird. There's literally nothing there except for the bed, which is not moving. If it's the owner of the house, can you set the music box off? And the K2's gone off. Can you, if it's, if you're male, can you set the device? If there's a female here? Mate, that's so Wait, weird. That's going on, but... Right, I need to do. If that's you that's setting the music box off, can you make the music box stop by moving away? There's someone in that bed, mate. If you're in that bed, can you let us know by saying yes or no into this device? Going off. I know, mate. Do you want us to leave or are you okay with us being here? Can you let us know your name? Lucy. Sounds so like that, doesn't it? Did you say Lucy? Is that you that's making the bangs so you're trying to scare us away? Mate, that music box is freaking me out. Yeah, man, I'm proper imagine it. If you just go near him. Look, this will set something off in its eye line. There is nothing there. What is going on, bro? And earlier on, we won't get anything in this room, will we? Absolutely nothing. We won't get nothing on the music box downstairs. If you have a child that passed away in this house, can you set the music box off? Just answering questions, man. I don't know what's going on. Right, I'm going to turn this off so they have to communicate through. I know I shouldn't really turn that off, but I'm going to turn it off so they communicate through the necrophonic. Proper right, right? Can you let me know how many how many spirits are in this house with us right now? Kid, man. That was a kid. That was a baby. Can you let me know how Lucy passed away in this house? <laughs> so weird with the, the wind blowing and everything, isn't it? Crazy, huh? There's something going on. Mate, we literally have no idea about this house. We don't know how old it is. We don't know who's owned it, where they are. We got no history on this, mate. We just found it, didn't we? Like a we, random find. We were driving past, we seen boards on the house. We thought, let's go check it out. Window was open, so we've come inside. It's left abandoned like this. We have no history on this place. 
what we're learning about it is through what we're being told. Do you know what's strange, man? What? There's no family portraits. There's no family pictures whatsoever. No, that's what I mean. There's nothing at all of the family that used to live here. And guys, this is a big, grand house. Everything's left, but there's no family photos or nothing left. No. Enough, do you reckon there's enough there to look back on? Oh yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's just a shame, but we haven't got any, like, we haven't got any names, have we, really? What have you just seen, mate? I've seen nothing, I heard. What do you hear? My five or six bangs in a row. It could be the wind, but I am on edge. Your face, then. <laughs> Mate, there's something in yeah, this house. Right yeah. I'm freaking out. I literally am. Right, guys. Let us know what you think of this absolutely amazing house. This has been an, an unbelievable find, hasn't it? Yeah, right. for, for a roadside find. This has been absolutely amazing. We have had quite a bit on the equipment. Not so much the K2s straight away, was it? But it was the K2s when we came upstairs and started uh, our investigation. Cat balls going off. <laughs> But absolutely nothing downstairs with the music box, and it's not stopped up here, has it? Same with the REM pod as well. Oh, so, the box making noise when I'm it up. yeah, let's uh, grab that last, grab that last, grab that last, just in case. Amazing find, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Everything from the kids' cots, absolutely amazing house. I I've loved never it. been in a house like this. This no. is the first house I've been in. Like. The Chateau esque. It is, mate. It's like someone you'd find in France, mate. It is. So, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. We are off to the next investigation. Hopefully, it's a banger, and we'll see you there next week. Peace.